Buongiorno and welcome back to Residenza Toscana. My name is Marisa Barilaro Sherrington and thank you so much for joining me again today. This is a little bit of a special edition today actually because it's a catch up with someone. Now you all seem to love my last video here in Kiani showing around the lovely Marsha from California. She's such a lovely lady. So she was kind enough to let you catch up again with her on her second trip here in two weeks. <laughs> uh, she came back to look at another little property that I'd found for her and I thought it would be a great one to show you around. Um, Marsha was more than happy and she has decided actually not to take this particular property so this one is for sale and all the details are at the end of the video. Again if you need to ask me anything it's a private sale and I can put you in contact with the owner so please check my email address in the description of the video if you need to do that or otherwise you can leave me a comment here. Okay, so let's go on this beautiful journey. Another absolutely little cracking property here, which I would snap up myself if I had the extra cash right now. A wonderful way of getting into the Tuscan property market. A beautiful small home, great project. You'll see loads of potential and an amazing price for Tuscany in a beautiful village, that's certain. So let's have a look with Marsha and see what we find. So I've just, just walked down Via Repubblica in Chiani. Via Repubblica is one of the main streets running through the village. And I'm now in a little part of it, if you like, that comes off the street and it's just like a little dead end, so sort of quiet. As you can see, looking out afterwards, the end of this, there are no more homes. And then we go straight down to the countryside. So it's just a little passageway amongst some very old homes, but this one's been done up beautifully and has an incredible terrace. The one at the far end is being done up beautifully just at this moment, really beautiful. And the house on the corner here is another very large, beautifully maintained and restored home. Smack bang in the middle of those two and it's always good to have homes either side that you know are going to be loved and looked after so this one is in the process of having a wonderful renovation it's really pretty is this lovely little stone what they call terracciello in other words it goes from the sat the ground to the sky so it has that level at the top one level in the centre and one level ground level. It has two door entries, a bit like my house. This one here, if you like, would be considered the main door. When those doors are open, you'll see when I do the interiors, it is where you walk straight into the staircase and they lead straight up to the first floor, which at present is where the eat-in kitchen was with the fireplace. On this floor is when I went downstairs into what I called the cantina. So the cantina has its own separate entrance, but as you would have seen when I was inside, there were interior stairs leading just behind this window down into that area. And that would make a wonderful downstairs kitchen because you could have kitchen, as I said, on one floor, living next floor, bedroom, top floor or bedrooms. So there you go. How sweet, I'm just walking down past the little house that I'm showing to Marsha this morning. And look at this cute little garden and walk way down here, just down off the main road, it's so lovely. This is the second doorway, so that's the primary entrance. This is the second doorway into this little home, which takes you in a lovely old stone threshold, let's say, into what is being used as a cantina, but, it adjoins the house. There's a staircase, internal staircase, which is awesome. That doesn't happen a lot. <laughs> my cantina, for example, at home is not joined internally to my home. It would be great if it was, but it's not. So this one is. So consequently, the gentleman was thinking of making this into his kitchen had he done it up. And that's a possibility. Or it could just be a separate 
sort of sleeping space for someone down here because the only bathroom in the house is currently here and as you can see there's water here so that bathroom which is tiny tiny and I'll show you um, could most definitely come out slightly even as far as say where that old washing sink is which would then give you plenty of space to do a new shower have a proper modern bathroom in there and have a nice size sleeping area here for guests or even a kitchen like he said if you wanted to have it as a kitchen with a bathroom off the kitchen the next floor would be the living and then on the top floor I'd definitely be putting an ensuite bathroom up there this room is not a bad size it's just absolutely full as you can see of what would be tools rubbish etc so it needs a good clean up but then to show you because i didn't show you oh sorry i'm casting a shadow and i think there's a light in here there is there we go so this is the very narrow door into the wet room let's call it because as you can see as soon as i walk in i am in front of a wet shower so to speak and a basin, a toilet with a seat up, <laughs> and a bidet, which is under the stairs going upstairs. And that's why I was explaining, it's very squeezy in here, but I would definitely be shifting this out to make this a bigger space to be able to have a correct shower and probably get rid of the bidet and just have a a vanity and toilet and a shower in here which if things were shifted around and the space went out even the width of just this big wall if that's possible then definitely you would have a more livable bathroom that's for certain and you could make a wider door at the same time because it's not a standard width door there we go but you have with a good clean up you have the beautiful original beams which are in awesome i'd say awesome state it has been absolutely reinforced at some stage as well with steel girders so you've got a nice strong ceiling everything looks pretty good to me of course you do your checks and due diligence but the tiles on the ceiling just need a good sandblast or cleaning and you'll then have beautiful tuscan ceilings and you've got plenty of ceiling space because i can't even touch those and i'm not a short person so therefore a tall person can easily walk through here. There's an additional window there which has the shutter closed at the moment, so therefore you could absolutely have more light, natural light coming in here that way. So a decent space on your ground floor and, of course, with its own entrance so that if you wanted to have someone stay in here, they could actually come in here on their own through this entrance if you wanted um, but they would still have access to upstairs or you could put a door here if you wanted to. I'm back visiting with Marsha now. She's come to see this gorgeous little house that I was telling you about. And so Marsha, this is possibly a future kitchen or possibly extra accommodation. If you've got to put your imagination in, obviously, but uh, this is awesome. I was telling everybody how this has a great internal staircase, which my cantina doesn't have. So the beautiful part is, of course, is that the person here, if it was, to say, a family member, they can actually go up from in here. They can come in and out of their own little entrance if they want, but they also have access to come up and see you then. So as you can see, it's ample space with all this stuff out. And the ceilings would be sandblasted to come back like my beautiful home. You know that you'd love the ceilings yeah. in my house. So gorgeous beams, beautiful terracotta ceilings. Obviously you need to tile the floor. Work needs to be done. But it's such a great price, this house. So um, the bathroom, you'll see, I've already done a little tour of that for everyone. But it's tinsy, wincy, wincy. You walk straight into, yeah. So... It's like a wet room that you walk straight into. The door is quite narrow. So I was saying that this here, because there's water on this side, because it used to be the old mm -hmm. laundry, I would actually ask permission to come out there, get rid of this because you've got plumbing, and bring the wall that far out. And then you're going to have a decent-sized kind of ensuite bathroom. How do you use the bidet? 
and we wouldn't even I'd take the bidet away because yeah that's just silly that would all totally be changed and I'd just go with shower toilet sink okay that's my opinion I don't know what you think but yeah so see this could possibly be a great spot to have a bed for family members mm -hmm. so they're downstairs independent in a way with their own shower bathroom um or if you want to have the whole thing of downstairs kitchen um, because you've got plumbing here and then have toilet off that downstairs kitchen, living and bar bedroom. But I think to me, for your purposes and for a lot of people's purposes, having that extra sleeping space would be great. Just using it as a, a room that could be anything. Yeah. You could even just put a sofa bed if you want it to be like a seating room that you pull out when someone comes. That's exactly what I'm thinking. Yeah. yeah. I wouldn't actually set it up. Uh, in fact, I don't know that you can, by law, set it up as a bedroom in all honesty. Oh. Yeah. Because there are certain rules, but you can definitely have a sofa bed, and if someone wants to sleep over like family, that's okay. Because okay. it's a taverna, I suppose. So, yeah. So that's that one. And let's venture upstairs. <laughs> The front door has a double door, timber door, which is a solid timber door, lovely old door. Would be original for sure to the building. Lovely thick timber. I'm just squeezing through the one that's opened. Coming in to this entrance, which has the old terracotta tiles, again, that I'm sure are original. And of course, it needs a good clean up. <laughs> it needs a lot done to it, but Let's come into this first room. Oh, I'm not sure if this light fitting is working. Maybe not. Oh yes, just took a while to light up. There we go. So use your imaginations. This is a lovely room. It would be absolutely charming. It has the staircase going up to the bed area upstairs. Lovely height in the ceilings with all those beautiful, again, fantastic beams. These are all the terracotta tiles that have been whitewashed. You can take them back to the original terracotta if you like, as I do in my home. Again, lovely old terracotta floors, which are actually in good condition. Just need a good clean up. Of course, kitchen totally needs renewing. New boiler there. And without the large sort of big pieces of furniture, you actually have a really lovely space, which would be a lovely living space. And if you decide to do what I said downstairs and have sleeping down there or other, you know, another use, this is still a lovely space for someone to have, seeing it's a small home. You're only ever going to really have a couple of people here, I would imagine. So lovely space to have a lounging area by the fire, which is just gorgeous, beautiful original fireplace, and have a small kitchen, small dining area, plenty of room to do all those kind of things and just make it really gorgeous. So, there we go. I oh, know, squeeze it. You, they both open, obviously, but we're just squeezing through. So if you want to make your way upstairs, Marsha. Um, yes, I know, it's a little... I don't even hold on to those. I just <laughs> hold on to the door, the wall, I should say. So off you go. Now, this is, as you can see, a lovely room. I really like this room. And if you can just imagine it without, you know, sort of some of the clunkier, larger furniture... Well, it might stay if you love it, and you can even, if you don't like it a dark colour, things like that often, often look really nice if they're shabby chic to give them a bit more light. But again, this ceiling can be sandblasted back to original colours if you don't want it whitewashed, or it can just be freshened up and left white. Some people do that to bring more light in. Um, it's got a lovely window. If you want to come over here and I'll show you what I was talking about. Stick your head out there, Marsha, and have a look down to the right and left so you can see the lovely view. Oh, yeah. And you'll see it even more so upstairs. So, But it's just sweet because obviously you're not going to have any traffic noise. You're on the little laneway. Right. Yeah. And upstairs from the top bedroom windows and the other window up there, there's already the lovely metal planter box holders. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So... Um, one thing, Marcia was just tapping on the window. She was seeing if it was double glazed or not, which it's not, because most older homes don't have it, and mine doesn't have it either. But 
I was told the other day there's an incentive at the moment with windows and doors if you're upgrading in an older property that you can get 75% off the cost to get double or triple glazing. And I've got a good contact for that that I can give you if you okay. needed that. Absolutely. So that's another awesome thing that we could be doing. Oh, the screens, absolutely. We all want those. Love they do love her. Even my face. They do love her. Oh, the windows are banging because it's windy outside. But anyway, my uh, sweet, we, you've got the lovely old um, chimney there in the corner, <clears throat> that lovely fireplace. Obviously, new kitchen needed. We would need to look at boilers, electricity, and all that kind of thing. You'd probably, that's an old um electrical box so you would need a new modern one a digital one there would be things as we know that need upgrading in here that's the whole point but it's a great little doer upper that's for sure and i really love the floors i would leave those do you like those and i love the stairs awesome me too me too mm. just a nice new railing obviously going up and rather than the cord so let let's venture upstairs so this takes us up to the bedroom area which is actually really really spacious you'll see it has a really big landing which i explained to marcia it also has <laughs> we've got a lot of banging windows today because it's very windy outside there they're saying we'll have another storm today but as you can see on a really awful day look at that lovely light well we've got which is giving us a lot of natural light here so they had this set up in the old days. You can see this is very old, but they had it set up like a sleeping place with just little curtains because it actually is quite an ample space. There you go with the light on. But what we were saying, and the gentleman I think had in his plans, is to create an ensuite off the bar bedroom. And then you would still, even with a small ensuite, you could still have a nice wardrobe area here as well. There'd be enough room to have this as ensuite, walk-in robe, something like that, straight off your bedroom. And you would still come up, if it started back there, you'd still come up and have a little landing here, which is ample, really, to get into a bedroom. Right. So there's lots of things you could do up here in this space, that's for sure. So would the wall just start right past the highlight there? I would, I would say so. Yeah. Maybe reach. <laughs> Marsha's just sticking her head out the bedroom window because we do have a lovely view. I'll, I'll actually show you all as well. And she's got the lovely little things here on these top windows to put a lovely pot plant. It is very grey, but you do have a beautiful view of the Tuscan Hills there. And then this is the main bedroom, which is ample size, isn't it, Marsha? Yeah. Plenty of size. That's a big queen size bed, which same size as I have at home. It has bedside tables, so that's a good width room. It has two very large pieces of old-fashioned furniture in here, which means without those in it, you've got plenty of room to either build in a wardrobe or put a piece of furniture and whatever you want in here. Um, and um, obviously this hasn't been painted forever but the gentleman has someone go up on the roof and check constantly for leaks and things so i would say this is just very 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 old plaster that's a lovely old light fitting actually that's a lovely old opaque light fitting i i probably some people might hate it but i would probably I keep it. that I, I think that's gorgeous look little birds on it mm -hmm. it's really really sweet very and good. honestly in an antiques market you'd pay for something like that mm-hmm no, it's lovely. Negotiate so again, we've got all the terracotta floors throughout here as well. Um, the internal doors are all timber. And even the little, did you notice the little lamp on the, oh, I love that little lamp. It's almost like a little bit Venetian looking. <laughs> it's really sweet. I like that. So, I like that one too. And that one's kind of sweet as well. Well, I mean, I don't imagine, I would imagine a lot of these things would come with the sale. It, right. I can't imagine a gentleman would want to take them away if anyone wanted them, of course. So um, got the light fixtures. I would say this mess here is probably yeah. because the man gets up and down to the roof to check it. Oh, so he rubs okay. against the plaster every time he d uh, probably opens and closes. Yeah, okay. that, yeah, yeah. Thank you so much for watching today. And if you're enjoying our videos here on either Residenza Toscana or my other YouTube playlist, which is Tales from Tuscany, please consider subscribing. We've just reached 2,000 subscribers, which is a great, great milestone for a little channel like us. 
but we'd love to continue growing and we can only do that with your help. So if you're enjoying our videos and think we are making good content, please click that subscribe button. Please give us a thumbs up and we love receiving your comments. I'm really, really loving answering everyone's comments and getting back to them. So um, I think being a writer, I really enjoy that part as well. <laughs> so don't hesitate to leave me a comment. And if you're needing any extra help, as I said, my email address is in the description of the video. And as I mentioned before, I'm not an agent, but I can put you in contact with the private seller and you can move forward that way. I do have other services where I can help you as well, should you need them, but we can always discuss that if you want to via email. So I hope you've enjoyed today's wonderful little trip here to Kiani. Lots more to come and I'll see you next time. Thank you so much for joining me here and arrivederci alla prossima.